Hey everybody, welcome to another Crotch Tactic Shock and Awe Toy Reviews. I'm Wilson, joined by Toast and Mr. Berg. And we're going to take a look at maybe two Marvel Legends this review. But probably not, we'll see. Let's go. Here it is, uh, the retro series uh, Hercules figure. So this is the third Hasbro Hercules figure. The second one within the last year or two, yeah, maybe it's, three. Yeah, it hasn't been that long, right? they, Yeah, they just released uh, the modern version. This is classic 1980s Bob Layton, Prince of Power, Avengers Hercules, which is the one I would venture most people who would even care about a Hercules figure would want. Because you're, you're probably right. Yeah. Uh, the people who got the newer one don't know this guy exists, and there are people who were like, why would you ever buy a Hercules toy? And that's I have, that's I have, me. I have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, real quick, paint and sculpt, as usual. Uh, his costume is perfect. It looks just like a Bob Layton. And if you don't know, Bob Layton drew Iron Man in the 80s and is one of the quintessential Iron Man guys and uh, he did a bunch or a bunch two Hercules miniseries in the 80s uh, this was the second one I believe uh, so yeah he's got the little bulbs picked out a little bit uh, he's got a great happy face sculpt because he just had some some beers some ladies maybe some olive oil <laughs> Um, he's got some chest hair that makes Wilson kind of like, what? I love the hair. Uh, he's got some hair on his arms, hair on his other arm. They started there with one of the Wolverines, right? Yeah. Uh, it looks really good. Um, and yeah, he's just got his simple little outfit, and he looks great. Uh, it was a great use of the mold. Um, the head looks great. Yeah, simple. Uh, there is some texture in the belt, as opposed to just being plastic. There's also some texture in his He-Man uh, harness, and there's a little texture in his boots, so it does look a little bit like uh, cloth or leather, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will point out because it uh, in the super bright lights that his knees. Are different colors from his shins and thighs and it bothers me now but uh you know that's that's a berg well from this angle i can see some paint slop on the sandals where his skin should be oh yeah there you go and they missed some toe action right there maybe he's got a fungus maybe he does maybe he's uh maybe maybe he's been making wine maybe maybe i don't know uh yeah so uh if this is the look you're going for, this is the... I can't imagine how they could do this better. Agreed. Um, yeah. It looks exactly like it should, and that's why I, I don't care. Exactly, and that's why I do. Yeah, so uh, he has, again, the standard Marvel Legends articulation, except for those paying attention at home. He does have boot swivel, oh. which I appreciate. I love it when they have boot swivel. Um... He does have gauntlet swivel, which he doesn't need, but if you want to put your buckles where you want your buckles, you can do that. Uh, he has tremendous range in his ab crunch, like, and his head is articulated enough so that he can actually not look stupid, <laughs> or like, some guys get an ab crunch and always look down. Yeah, they... Show the back of his neck there. They really dug that out. That's well done. Yeah. Usually the head doesn't look up that far. And then my favorite thing about him, and I can't believe it took them this long to finally get to start doing this. Uh, for those of you who remember the Mattel DC Classics line, uh, sculpted by the Four Horsemen, every figure had like a little indent right here by his shoulders so they could cross their arms and super easily do a one-handed grip 
this is the first Marvel Legends to actually take part of that and have it cut in like that, that I've noticed. And he has a gigantic shoulder joint in there that allows the articulation, like, it's better than a butterfly joint, in my opinion. Is this a new mold, or I thought you the, were saying that this was reused? It looks like a reuse, but it's new shoulders for sure. No one has these shoulders. I would, you can go back and remake every Marvel Legends with this shoulder apparatus, and I would be happy. Especially guys who have swords, because, like, he's almost there. Yep. Uh, so I, I love that articulation and the range, yeah. And as a Greek wrestler, Gre- Greco-Roman wrestler character, mm-hmm. who, or Jack Kirby guy, yeah, he needs to be, like, crazy arms flying, flailing, and he can do it. As far as accessories, uh, as many of you know, if you read Hercules comics, uh, he usually ends up drinking too much and getting into fights or something. It's his uncle Pluto messes with him or something, and he gets super pissed off. So they gave you slightly angry head, which I wish could be a little more angry. Yeah. Um, but it's a it's an angry head. I guess. Let me see. Yeah, there's a difference. They both, from a distance, I thought it was his second smiling face, but yeah. Yeah, he needs a slightly more furrowed brow. But I appreciate the effort. Uh. He also comes with his, I believe this is straight out of the Bob Layton, Jack Kirby designed mace. Uh, And it's got some paint apps on it, so yay. Uh, And then he comes with gripping hands for his mace. And he comes with a pair of punching hands because he's the Prince of Power and he's going to punch the shit out of you. Yep. Oops, spoilers. Sorry about that, YouTube. I swore. Sorry. And for size comparison, he is one of the taller Marvel Legends. Uh, You can see he's half a head to a head taller than John Walker. And he is the same size as uh, Thunderstrike, which is how big he should be. And I'm super happy that they finally picked a size for their Thor and Jack Kirby big muscle guys and like all the releases lately have been that size and finally good size that's what she said and now it's time for uh, final thoughts uh, shout out to Wilson who says if not av- happy, I'm happy. <laughs> not available hammers because he don't give a crap uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do uh, five out of five hammers and I'm gonna say this is a toy you should have. Uh, He is a perfect representation of a character. He has great articulation. He looks great. He's fun to play with. And he will go great in your Marvel Legends or DC collections. I think, you know, he could hang out with your Wonder Woman from McFarlane and be fine. Um, Is he the best out of all the ones they've released? He is by far the best Hercules. The modern one they released in the Build-A-Figure Wave a couple ways back was very, very good. But I think this one's better. I love that shoulder articulation. I I hope that's the new, new style going forward. But yeah, I think he's great. Everything I could want, and I, I realize nobody gives a fuck about Hercules, but fuck you, Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> I'm also going to give him five stars. I'm one of those that doesn't give a crap about Hercules, but I think he is a really well-done figure, and... Other than the playability that I'm never going to play with this figure, I agree with everything Berg just said. Like You can put him in any pose you ever wanted Hercules to be in, and he'll look perfect. I love it. That's been it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Let us know what you think of this figure, or any other Hercules figure, I guess, if you really want to. But this is the one we're talking about. You talking to me? Yeah. Because I'm the only one here. And again, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.